Hi, I'm Stuart Taylor. I work at the Microsoft Research Lab here in Cambridge, and I'm going to give a quick demo of a system that I've been working on called VPlay, uh, which is an interactive system based on a Microsoft service. Uh, and it's a system that allows uh, real-time uh, mixing of video. So I'm just going to pull up a, a, a saved uh, set of objects here, uh, just to get the demo underway. Um, if I just simplify this down a little bit, so we've got a video output window here, which would be typically projected in the performance space. Um, a video object here, which uh, is just connected up to the, uh, the output window there. As I drag these objects around, they connect and disconnect automatically. So, video clip just connected to the output window, and you just get that video playing. If I drag, in this case, a, a rotate effect, um, let me yeah, just take a, a different video clip that's a little bit more obvious what, what, what's going on here. So as I rotate this around, it allows the output video to, uh, to rotate and we can chain different effects together. So we've now got a, um, a rotate and an outline effect. Um, other things we can do is I pull over a, a mixer object so we can have not only a single input, but uh, start mixing different video streams together. Um, and in this case, we can just do a simple alpha blend between these two sources. Um, and again, if we want to add in, let's say we add the uh, outline effect into that particular source. Um, let's just carry on. Add that back in, sorry. Um, okay, so the mixer we can do different forms of mixing, so luma keying, inverse luma key, or back to an alpha, uh, cross fading between the two. Um, and then we can do some other things, like, for example, um, putting together a little feedback loop. So if you just give me two seconds just to get this set up, um, we take, uh, let's take all that. So so in this case, we're now getting a, a kind of a Luma trail kind of effect. Um, and the, the reason being that we've got video source coming around into this object, which is a splitter. It's displaying the output, but some of the output is also being fed back through this second uh, mixer object back into the input, hence this little uh, um, feedback loop. And obviously, as, as demoed before, we can just hook these things up in, in a variety of different ways. So in this case, we put a rotate object in the feedback loop. Um, you start to get some pretty, uh, pretty wild output.